So if your child has done something wrong at the time of Zuhr, either you then ground him, whatever it is, but then you want to take some action against him, then whatever measures you want to institute, let there be the interval of one prayer at the time of Asr. By that time, sanity will come in, normality will return, there will be calmness, there will be balance, there will be vision, and then you will execute a calculated decision. On the reverse, if you will be instinctive, you will harm and hurt and compound the problem. So these are the words of Imam Shafi rahmatullah alayhi. I conclude with one hadith, and this is the real beauty and this is the ideal thing. May Allah make that a reality for us all. And what is that? Then rather than show with you these uh, advisors of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu, the incident would be very long. So I'll digress into this here and we'll wrap up on this note. This is mentioned in Tariq al-Khulafa on page 142. Tariq al-Khulafa. And somehow it would summarize my talk. And remember what I said. Walk in the right direction. Walk at the pace of a tortoise. But you know you walk in the right road. You will make your mark and you will reach your goal. Five advisors of Sayyidina Ali. Tariq al-Khulafa page 142. He said number one. لا يخافن أحد إلا ذنبه. People are saying, I'm worried about the crime. I'm worried about the economic climate. I'm worried about the political landscape. I'm worried about the future. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu said, you can engage in these issues and understand and deliberate. But you should fear nothing but the nasty consequences of your repeated sinning. So what must I sleep with? Not the fear if the currency depreciates. Not with the fear of crime. I must sleep with the fear of the repercussion of my wrong. Ya Allah, I'm doing this wrong in my life. What are the bearings on my personal life? What are the bearings on my wife and children? What are the bearings on my income? What are the implications on my generations? In English they say, those who come after you will be better than you or worse than you because of you. Those who come after you will be better than you or worse than you because of you. You will set it, your children, what they will come. <laughs> I can tell my child, little one, you know what? Go from here, don't look, go do your work. But the boy has to grow up. And one day you will see, you know, on the lighter note, the boy, he failed in school and he brought his report. He says, Dad, Dad, I brought my report and I found yours also. Dad, I brought my report and I found yours also. So now what can Dad talk? Dad can say, you know, now those who studied, Dad was a delinquent himself. Dad was a rebel. Those who come after you. That is why I often say, to become, oh, I read a brilliant quote the other day. It is very simple to become a father yet extremely difficult to be a father. It is very simple to become a father. What they say? Children on the back seat cause accidents. And accidents on the back seat cause children. Apologies. It's very easy to become a father. It is, oh, I read this and the way it hit me, I said, oh Allah, let this let this just descend in my heart. It is very easy to become a father, yet extremely difficult to be a father. Becoming a father and being a father, so what I often say, being a father entails more discipline to your life than your children. And more than often we are not ready to make that step, to become disciplined myself. Because to be a father is something else. Becoming a father is easy. Being a father. What did Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu say? If, if, if you summarize these advisors and you leave on this note, it's great. لا يخافن أحد إلا ذنبه Fear nothing but the consequences of your sins. ولا يرجو إلا ربه And put your hope in nothing but your Allah. Don't hope that this investment will mature. If it matures, it's good. The children will return and secure and become my... I would sit back and I would relax. You know, one person, he didn't have children. So one day he said to me, Sheikh, you know, if I had children, 
I'm not 60, I doubt I would have been working. I said, Uncle, those that are 60 and have children are working harder than you. They are working harder. Read the demographics of today's modern society. I read an article that if you want to have a workshop on raising children, it will be in your better interest to target grandparents than biological parents because the demographics of modern day society is grandparents are raising the grandchildren and not the parents. So who said when you're a grandfather you relax? The grandparents have that level of respect and that's my generation, that's my blood, that's my honor. If they choke, parents want to work, let them work, broken home, but I hold my blood and I'll take the child to school and nurse him and nurture him, whatever it is, it's my blood. They have that shred of modesty and respect in them. So, don't fear anything but the consequences of your wrong. You know your wrong and I know my wrong. I can hide from people and I can camouflage from society, but Allah is watching. وَلَا يَرْجُوا إِلَّا رَبَّهُ And only hope in your Lord. Number three, وَلَا يَسْتَحْيِ مَنْ لَا يَعْلَمْ أَنْ يَتَعَلَّمْ And the one who doesn't know, must not feel shy. Today is his day, he must start learning. Today is his day. I was, I mentioned this here also, I met a man in London at the age of 60, started learning Quran. And he memorized 15 Jews of the Quran. وَلَا يَسْتَحْيِ مَنْ لَا يَعْلَمْ أَنْ يَتَعَلَّمْ The one who doesn't know, must not feel shy, he must start learning. The fourth thing, وَلَا يَسْتَحْيِ مَنْ لَا يَعْلَمْ إِذَا سُعِلَ عَمَّا لَا يَعْلَمْ أَنْ يَقُولَ لَا أَعْلَمْ And the one who doesn't know, when he is asked of something which he knows not, then he must be bold and honest and say, I don't know, he mustn't feel shy and lie and distort, which will be one of the qualities of the deviant scholars before Qiyamah, that they will exploit their podium and they will advocate rulings contrary to the divine teachings. So the one who doesn't know must not feel shy to learn, and the one who doesn't know when he's asked, he must be bold and say, I don't know. I mean, what profound words, if we take this to heart. And the last advice that Sayyidina Ali رضي الله عنه said, وَإِنَّ الصَّبْرَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ بِمَنْزِلَةِ الرَّأْسِ مِنَ الْجَسَدِ وَإِنَّ الصَّبْرَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ Patience and perseverance is pretty much like the head in the human body. There is no human without a head. There is no Islam without sabr. On those notes I conclude asking the Almighty Allah to instill, infuse and imbibe in me all that has been said and that we can go out and make that profound impact which is much needed. I thank and appreciate the brothers and the sisters that have showed up in the numbers despite the heat and whatever difficulty you have to put up with. May Allah reward you and accept our get together.